Right, just the final aspect of this, um, definitely the batteries are charging, as you can see it's going up, and I can show you, if you're not very sure if the battery is charging or not, uh, the advanced technique you can use to determine this. I'm going to reopen the battery slot and uh, you see the final stage of it of course this would not be my final stage definitely i cannot rely on these two small batteries so i have to extend the battery and um, the battery backup capacity it's uh this is uh let me just pop this up so i have used this for just to protect the terminals temporarily but definitely i'm going to remove this so in order for you to tell if the battery is charging or not you will need your multimeter and just watch out for what i'm going to do here i hope so here's my multimeter and i'm going to put it through 200 volt DC that's because I don't have um, anything um, above or uh, below 30 or sorry anything above 24 so the highest above 24 is 200 uh, well, let me just try to focus on here so the only figure that I have above 24 is 200 that's why I position this for 200 there uh, DC now i know where my output is they are the one at the top the red and black right at the top here and uh, i'm going to use my multimeter probe and i'm going to put one on the red slot and i'm going to put the other one the black one on the black and as you can see it's reading 27.2 so that is already above 24 volts and that's an indication that it's charging at 27.2 volts and that is how you tell uh, if you're uh, the charger in this in this UPS is charging uh, your UPS or your battery sorry and so everything is um, working fine this is the first time I'm testing these after I purchased it I purchased the second hand and um, as you can see the battery is now fully charged so what I want to do is because I cannot rely on this small capacity battery so I'm going to I'm going to extend this harness and I'm going to bring it towards the outside here and I'm going to use the bigger the bigger batteries here and uh, it's going to be external because I don't have any slots for this particular one uh, for this particular battery size so I'm just going to render this particular slot useless uh, because of uh, uh, because of the need for a bigger capacity when I put the server on this particular UPS I noticed that I would only have about 20 including the monitor as well so I noticed that I only have about 20 minutes roughly or 15 minutes backup time uh, which is insufficient for for me considering the fact that I would normally switch from sometimes from the national grid to the off grid and back and forth and sometimes I might not have enough time to you know during the winter season when I will have to switch it on uh, switch on switch on the uh, the off grid at some point when the batteries are fully charged anyway that's a little bit complicated but uh, what i'm trying to point out here is that this battery is not strong enough for me so i'm going to be moving to the next uh, bigger capacity battery